Yo guys, what's up? Soulfy, welcome back to newest video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a little bit of information that I've learned through my trials in Fortnite. Now, these aren't anything professional by any means, but maybe a little bit of something that might help you guys along your way of trying to get better at Fortnite. I've had my fair share of days where I win no matches, and then I've had days where I've won three games in a day, and I happen to get nothing on recording. Along the way, I'm learning to fail to success, so that's what we're going to do here. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the stuff that I'm about to show you. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, I'm going to break down a little bit of the gameplay that you guys see in the background today. This this is currently the spot that I call loot tree, pretty much the only yellow tree that I've ever seen on this side of the map that has a couple of chest spawns underneath alongside these trees. Sometimes they spawn here, sometimes they don't. Pretty much everything's up to chance. Whenever you slap these trees, there's actually upwards of 26, 27 wood, and you can end up leaving this small area with close to 300 wood. These little ones seem to give all that you need in a quick go in just a couple of hits. This next clip actually shows a good reason for having a lot of wood really early. There was a guy that was around this little side barn, and I couldn't see him, so we decided to take the high ground, see if we could find him. I luckily peek him over on the left tree, and I'm able to kind of land a couple of silenced pistol shots, nothing too great. I'm not here for the accuracy, I'm here for the commentary. This clip also shows what happens whenever you can mess up building and also surprise your enemy at the same time. I'm able to land a couple of burst shots whenever he's over the hill. I don't know how since I didn't see his head, but I put up these two wooden barriers. He starts taking some shots at those and I'm able to land a quick one while he's trying to pop me. Also, what do you know, we happen to have a legendary scar and we're in top 40, so this is a pretty good pick. Then of course we go right back to hitting trees trying to get the wood back that we've already used because man when you mess up you definitely gotta you gotta make up spare time actually spot this guy up on the hill of course gonna take out the silence pistol try land a couple of shots after taking out that last guy i run up on this hill actually get blindsided by this dude pop two pump shots in we use the wood in this scenario to build a higher vantage point so we can see everyone within the surrounding area and here in a second i'm actually about to see a guy build over on that bridge seeing him build i scope it out and try to weigh whether or not my options should be go after him or sit back luckily i'm able to edit the construction that i've already done make a quick escape out and be able to chase this dude down now i'm able to hear the footsteps of this guy underneath me and i kind of weigh out my options at some point he pulls out a shotgun so i know close quarters isn't really going to be the option here so i decide to take my aim pull out my pickaxe take a couple whales at this and see if i can get a good overhead shot I'm able to find him, kind of surprise him, pop a couple shots in his head. Luckily, his accuracy was just as all over the place as mine is, and I'm able to land the shot. Now, while grabbing this ammo, I spot that building over there that he's making with brick and decide whether or not I should use the boost pad or just build a quick barrier real quick, see if I can get a couple shots off, and lucky enough for me, we're able to see his head pop up. I'm not sure why he did this, but he built a little window, gave me a clear shot to him. If my accuracy would have been better, I wouldn't be able to take off his head. Decided to make a door, maybe I was gonna be able to pop him on the head. We watch him here on the right side, and I'm able to just clip the top of his forehead. What you guys are going to see in the background is a game where I put all of these things to the test to my best of ability, try to play and get a win. Luckily, we're able to get a couple of kills and kind of pull out in the final match to top three. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to go down in the comment section, let me know, as well as slap that like button. We're getting close to breaking 20 likes on almost every upload that I do of Fortnite. It's been amazing to see you guys support this, as well as the little quotes that I get sent to me on Twitter. If you guys haven't checked out any of my social media, the description is full of it, so be sure to check that stuff out. I love to hear from you guys. I'm taking a ton of requests currently for Fortnite videos. I've been kind of stacking up on them, recording days in advance sometimes. So I'd love to get some ideas from you guys. I've seen a couple of challenge ideas such as the pistol only challenge sniper only challenge if you guys saw my sniper pistol combo video i'd love to do combos if you guys have any ideas for stuff like that maybe a shoddy sniper combo i've been kind of resting on that thought but like i said if you guys enjoyed the video please let me know down in the comments i'd love to talk to some of you guys i'm really trying to build a community here that way content in general can just get better for everybody involved i'm here to fail up into the point of success so if you guys would like to help me along the way by letting me know what i'm doing wrong or what you think i'm doing right i would love to hear it while you're down there be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon on the left side so you guys can get post notifications in the future i'd love to see some of you guys returning and with that i hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video i'll see you guys in the next one peace
Rev. 